What's up, everybody? Fravis here. Uh, last last game here, but we have slight changes. Uh, touch of Moon Glove, which is not anything that you should ever put in here, because I I only threw it in there to sync with Crypt Rats. So if somebody's playing like a some kind of mid rangey deck where there's a bunch of like uh, three threes or four fours or even just two twos, and I don't have the black mana or something somehow, I don't know how that would work, but. <laughs> if I get a Crypt Rats out here, it'll do one damage to every creature, uh, give it Death Touch, everything dies, every creature that goes down, uh, its controller loses two life, so I'd, I'd probably lose uh, eh, two or f uh, three at least life minimum, but hopefully uh, that'll take them out. Also, the second include here is Spore Frog. This guy you should put in here because against certain decks, you can't... Remember, he only costs one, and you're recurring it over and over with Disturb Burial, and I also have a one of of uh, Grim Harvest, so it's a uh, one Disturb Burial, one Grim Harvest. But anyway, these guys are uh, bringing cards back to you. Uh, this guy can pretty much make it, this guy almost equivalents to a uh, a fog every turn, so they can't ever get in there. Uh, that's only good against certain decks. So those are the only real changes. Just uh, some sideboard things. Looks like somebody wants to play. Let's see if we can get in here and make this happen. All right, this definitely looks like a keepable hand. We're not going first, so we're just going to yield. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the chat. Uh, I don't know. I guess I can keep it on if I really was, if I really wanted it. That thing's going to go get me a swamp next turn. I think it's going to be Simic Growth Chamber, and then oh, uh, that's if, in case you don't know what that does. Uh, and I just win. Okay, <laughs> let's give that a shot again. Okay, I won the dice roll. This seems all right. Let's keep. Oh, this seems... Bajuka Bog is a little weird right now, but whatever. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put Thornwood Falls first. Oh, that's so stupid of me. Oh, well. Bad bad play, because um, then I would have had Sakura Tribe Elder out. Oh, I'm not, like, I'm not thinking right now, <laughs> which is just stupid of me, I know. What in the world? Uh, okay... Okay, let's put that out now. Pass turn, we won't make that mistake again. But this time I can actually put down Brindle Boar, which I think I will do. Oh, oh, I see. All right, so we're going to need some enchantment removal, I guess. Wow. I have seen this deck before. This is kind of an unusual one. Uh, the main thing is that it just generates tons and tons of mana from uh, a couple of things, and uh, from a couple of lands. He has maybe I don't know if this is elves or not. Actually, this this is definitely not elves. Yeah, he's just gonna keep tapping this over and over for just a ridiculous amount of mana, and this counts as every. No, it does not. Okay, so obviously we are we are now seeing what this guy can do, and he's gonna drop some massive creature. Yeah, of course. And I am looking for not a Chainer's Edict. I'll need not not that either. So at this point, uh, I I lose. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just dead. Just gonna go ahead and concede. This guy had the nuts uh, on turn one. There are ways out of this though. Natural state seems good. Touch of Moon Glove is possibly good. Uh, Chainer's Edict is actually getting out because he's going to have a bunch of creatures anyway. Duress, I don't think I really want. Uh, I want targeted removal. I don't want um, Edict effects. So I got to get rid of two more things. I guess Crows and Tuskers are pretty slow. I'll just dump those. Alright. Hopefully this will work. The touch of moon glove will work well against um, it, it. It hopefully is a board wipe, but worst case scenario, I can trade with uh, anything. So all my guys will be able to trade up. It will sort of be a two for one, but then again, that's just what my deck does. So, whatever. That was a nice fast one. <laughs> that was so quick.
I was like, bing, bang, boom. Would I like to go first? Yes, I would. This looks okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I have two tap lands. Uh, Bajuka Bog will at least give me a play. Bajuka Bog exiles a, a graveyard. It's very good against graveyard strategies, which this guy is not. Uh, this is coming down right now, and it's going to take that thing out immediately. I just want him to slow down as quickly as possible. Uh, this is pretty much as a gate. You put it down, you gain a life. So he's back down to one land. Now he has extra land. I always forget how that exactly works. Oh, he did only have a one land hand. That's pretty rough for him. So I've only got two cards, or... Um, two lands, which super sucks right now. But I do have a removal, sort of. And this guy's still got uh, a mana floating. But he does nothing with it. Land, no land. Alright, I can't actually do anything, so I'm just going to pass turn. I do have uh, a removal and another removal spell. So, I'm okay for now. I'm pretty much any creature he drops, I'm going to kill. That is not a creature, so I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> okay, well, that's a, a thing to play. I'm so screwed without lands. Come on, man. Turn five, only two lands. Come on, this was a good hand. It was. I have 21 lands in this deck. All right, unable to kill that just yet. Enters the battlefield, pay two. If I do, search in the library. All right, so this just squadron hawks multiple of those guys, which it doesn't look like he actually drew any. Oh, yeah, he did. He got two of them. But do they do anything else? Not really. Uh, this is fantastic. This will at least get me another land. Probably going to get a swamp here. That way I can hit uh, Executioner's Capsule and Tragic Slip on the same turn. So he'll attack, I'll block, and then I'll sacrifice this guy to go get a swamp. Block one of those, take two damage. Not yet. Do that, grab a swamp. And then see what he has on his next turn. Sorry guys, I know that I don't know if you can hear the lawnmower outside. <laughs> I did not close the window and they're just mowing away. So, he sees that I have an Executioner's Capsule out. He might be wary to drop a real Crazy Pant card. I'm not sure. Untap target land. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to let him have those creatures. Hmm... Yeah, at this point, I think I'm just going to let him have it. And I'm going to soak that fucker up, too. What is the deck called? <laughs> Pig. Trinket. Sorry, there's the wire of my, uh... Of my microphone is on top of my keyboard, so I have to type around it. Uh, do I trade here? Do I trade here? No, I think I'm just gonna gain, gain the seven life. I think the seven life is gonna do me a little better. All the creatures, holy shit. I'm just going to slam another down. <laughs> Alright, this is where Crypt Rat starts getting important, but I don't have the Moon Glove for him. So, what shall we do, guys? I think... Alright. I want to slap down Crypt Rats, but we don't have... really enough for it. So I think I'm actually going to put down Trinket Mage, grab Volt of Whispers, play that. Oh boy. 
And I'm actually going to equip this guy up, and then he will trade with one of his two threes. Okay. I, 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 I'm sure he's swinging in here. Yeah, of course. And I'll block just one of them. It doesn't matter. We'll trade. I'll gain three life, but lose six, except he's beefing it up. So, let's see. Do I want to stop that? Not really. Fine. He got me. That thing's done. I still gain three life. Uh, Tragic Slip is now online. So if I want to, I can cast it, but I don't think I will. Ooh, now I have two of them. That's even better. I think at this point, we're going to be doing... Mole Drifter. Uh, aristocrats? Yeah, a little bit, actually. He's he's not wrong. This is kind of like an aristocrats, except I don't sacrifice my own creatures. But yeah, it's very similar. Hang on, I won't let him know. <laughs> it's crackling. Yeah, I mean, in the sense that you get... Uh, well, I should have blocked there. I don't know why I didn't block. That was stupid. In the sense that... Uh, yeah, death triggers. That's exactly what I was going to say. That you don't care about your creatures and you don't mind them dying and shit. That's kind of the same thing, really. Oof. Man, he's going to have so many creatures. This is exactly where I want that touch of moon glove, And it is in my deck. <laughs> if I get it, I'll be able to wipe the board, which is... Perfect. Oh my god. I'd be so happy if I could pull that off. <laughs> I love this guy's deck, man. Look at this fucking board. Oh, I didn't get it. No. Oh no. Okay. Alright. Uh, jeez. Let's equip that up. I still have two tragic slips. I can stop a lot of this damage. I can stop a lot of this damage. The natural state is just useless at this point. But I guess I'll use it. Ugh, whatever. The other option I have is Crypt Rats. No, I can't do Crypt Rats. I have to do a one drop. Oh yeah, it'll be it doesn't it really doesn't make a difference, but I'll give that a shot. Damn, I need that moon glove. I have 3 of them. Uh I'm about due for one. Not quite there yet, but almost, <laughs> you know. Okay, so he's crashing in now. Yeah, he yeah, of course. And he can just untap that thing. This guy's deck is hilarious, by the way. Okay, so these guys are going completely wacko. Can I survive? I think I can. They do have trample though, so there's no point in blocking there. I will block here and here. Hit OK. I, I didn't do the counting, but I think I'll be all right. Gain my three. Put a 1-1 one, one on it. And then start taking out those Aurochs. Oh, shit. Alright, now I think that's just game. I think that's just game. Damn it, he got me. Nice game, man. GG. Yeah, he pumped me the hell away. <laughs> Minus 3. God, I was close. Let's see how far I was from that Moon Glove. Oh, oh no, it was just there. Oh, I should have played a deep analysis or another mole drifter at some point, maybe. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, well. Good game, man. That was cool. I uh, really liked his deck. Anyway, that was my deck. Holy crap, that didn't take any time at all, guys. <laughs> that was super fast. Sorry for the delay on this episode. I actually had to re-record it because uh, the last one, the audio fucked up. And while the video was perfectly fine, the audio was just ruined and I, I wasn't going to keep it. Um, listen, this week, up until the second, this week, next week, and the week after that, uh, no videos, because I'm going down to Florida to see my family, 
Uh, I will be back on the second, and I don't know if you want to expect a a video at that point, but uh, it it will be like that week that it'll come out. I'll I'll come home, you know, spend a couple days just chilling out, and then I'm just gonna crack out a couple of videos and then release them during the week. Um, so that'll be it for this one. Uh, I actually. I have been playing this deck quite a bit recently, and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I did. I swear to God, I do. I, I I, mean, I like it. It's just really finicky. You know, it's more of a dirtle deck. It's a little more controly. It's not really the way I like it. If you did want to build this, let me know. We, we can change things up. We can fiddle things. Next time I do something on MTGO, I'm actually going to play this, Affinity. Uh, that really is my my personal bread and butter. I love this very much. This is my favorite uh, favorite deck in Popper by absolute far. And I also have some wacky little cards in here that might uh, that that have it very different from uh, from normal Affinity uh, players. Anyway, uh, my next video probably won't be on MTGO. It'll be back on uh, Magic Duels, and that should be on the week of next month, the second. So. Till then, you guys, I will see you later. Have fun this summer. I certainly will be too.